Onion. I am back for another cooking with BTS. Today we are going to make kimbap. Ba -do -ba -da -ba -do -ba. Different boy band, but yeah, we're gonna make kimbap today. Um, I'm going to do both the different variations they have. Uh, they talk about a whole bunch of other stuff that you can add into and stuff like that, but they have the recipe for like original kimbap and then also one with some gapsal. So I'm going to make both of those versions today. Uh, I do not have a rolling mat, but in the little stories, they talk about how like you can do it without. They, they just let you know to be very careful. Apparently, June and Hobie did not have so much luck with that. So I'm gonna be very careful with mine. They say, even if it does burst, which they have a whole cute little like different section, a new section, <laughs> um, that if you accidentally mess up and it still rips out of it, don't worry, it's still good. It just doesn't look as pretty. So I'm trying to keep that in mind for myself that even if they don't stay nice and pretty and rolled and all that, they're still gonna taste delicious. So let's go ahead and get started.
All right, so I am here with something that vaguely resembles Gimbop because indeed my sides did burst. So I am instead actually having that Yoguri uh, Tojin Gimbop, which means the sides ripped open. Um, specifically on the Sengapsal one, didn't seem to have as much problems. They look a little more formed for the ones that were the original, but the Sengapsal ones just kind of all everywhere. So I do still have them here. So let's go ahead and transition into each end. Um, I, I figured even just by how they were like completely destroyed, I was like, it's not even gonna be worth it to try to do anything without, <laughs> it's, it's just not gonna stay together. So, okay, let's see here. I'm gonna try the Subcapsule one first because they're all over the place. So I've definitely had gimbap before, things like that, particularly when I was in Korea. Um, but it's good. So I already knew I liked it. So yeah, it is good. Uh, and just like it said in there, you know, even if they rip, they're still good. And that's true. Still yummy. All right. I wonder if I can actually do one of the other ones, the original, keep it together for itself. All right, here we go. That's really, really good. Um, I'm very excited that I can make these at home now. It was something that was super easy to eat when you were in Korea. Every convenience store had them in a variety of flavors and stuff like that. So you could always have those at any time. Um, I do think what ended up being the problem for me is I think I put the rice layer too much. There's another section in the book where they're asking JK and Jimin because of that live they did where the two of them were making gimbap. Do you like a lot of rice in yours or not? JK was like, no, 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 not a lot. And, um, and Jim was like, no, you have to have a good amount of rice in it. And so I was in the right, okay, I'm going to try to do somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Since this is the first time I've ever made it, my somewhere in the middle is clearly too much because even looking at them right now, compared to like the pictures and things like that, the rice layer is really thick around the whole thing. Um, if you ever watched, uh, Ginny's kitchen when they were in Mexico and things like that, um, that was something that she was having to do too, is figure out how to make the rice layer thin and, yeah, I did not succeed in that, <laughs> but I will know for next time that really thin out that rice layer a lot, but it is really yummy still. And like I said, even without me being able to like eat them all together, stuff like that, they are still really good. And I'm going to continue to enjoy these. And I have plenty of leftovers that I can use the other seaweed sheets to go ahead and make the rest of them for myself too, for snacks. So, all right. I hope everybody enjoyed Friends, Hope on the Street, Volume 1, uh, D-Day in cinemas, all the different stuff that's happened since the last time I did one of these. But that has been Cooking with BTS and Eat Jen, another episode. We have two more recipes down. Yeah, we're getting through this. Let's go.